If you're a woman with thyroid problems and want to know how to heal naturally, then this is the video for you. Make sure to subscribe so I can help you get your hormones in harmony and optimize your health. And don't forget to click the bell so you'll be the first to get to see my new videos. Welcome back to the Hormone Healing Show. Today, I'm going to show you how to know if you have thyroid problems and what you can do about it. Did you know that 8 out of 10 thyroid patients are women? Comment below if you know anyone with a thyroid problem. Hormones affect your thyroid function, especially estrogen. The dramatic shifts of pregnancy and menopause put women at greater risk for thyroid disorders, and the risk increases as you age. The risk also increases if anyone in your family has ever had a thyroid problem, or if you've been exposed to radiation around the throat area, or you have an autoimmune disorder, it will also increase your risk for thyroid issues. Thyroid healing tip number one, recognize when your thyroid is off. Since your thyroid controls your metabolism, it affects everything. Low thyroid function is called hypothyroidism, while too much thyroid hormone production is called hyperthyroidism. The, for women, one of the first signs of thyroid dysfunction is heavier, irregular periods. Over time, thyroid disorders can cause infertility. When you're hypothyroid, everything is slowed down. Your blood pressure and heart rate is low, you're constipated, your memory is foggy, your moods are depressed, your muscles ache and you feel weak, you're fatigued, you put on weight, you may be able to have just enough energy to get your work done, but if you sit down, you will fall asleep. When you make too much thyroid hormone, everything speeds up. You're anxious, jittery, your heart races, your blood pressure is high, your eyes bulge, your brain races, but your thinking is foggy. Your metabolism is so high you have diarrhea and you lose weight rapidly. Sometimes your thyroid enlarges so much that you have difficulty swallowing. Thyroid healing tip number two, support your hypothalamic pituitary thyroid axis. What if you have symptoms of a thyroid disorder and you go to your doctor for a blood test, but your doctor says your blood work looks fine? How can that be when you clearly have symptoms of hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism? Well, your blood work may be within normal limits, but it's not your normal. I like to look at my patient's blood work through the lenses of whether or not their hypothalamic pituitary thyroid axis is functioning properly. Remember, it's a negative feedback system. If your thyroid hormones T4 or T3 are too low, then your TSH will be high, indicating hypothyroidism, and vice versa. If your T4 or T3 is too high, then your TSH will be low, indicating hyperthyroidism. But if your TSH is not responding to the changes in your thyroid hormone production, that is clearly miscommunication in the HPT axis. Supporting your hypothalamus can clear up the miscommunication and get your thyroid functioning normally. That's one of the benefits of Genesis Gold, to balance your thyroid hormones through phytonutrients with special amino acids specifically blended to optimize hypothalamic and thyroid function. Genesis Gold is especially beneficial if you have autoimmune thyroiditis as it helps heal your autoimmunity while improving your thyroid function. Thyroid healing tip number three. Keep track of your body temperature. Now how do you know if your thyroid is actually healing? Luckily, your basal body temperature will reflect your thyroid function. Your thyroid hormones, specifically T3, stimulate energy production. And the more energy you produce, the faster your basal metabolic rate is and the more normal your body temperature becomes. A low core body temperature is a classic sign of hypothyroidism or low thyroid function. Your thyroid hormone production might be within normal limits, but if T3 is not getting into your cells, your mitochondrial energy production is going to be low and your body temperature will be low. An active basal metabolic rate stimulates your hypothalamus to keep your body temperature around 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius. First thing in the morning when you wake up, your body temperature is usually about 97.8 to 98.2. Within about a few hours, it'll rise to that normal 98.6. Anything below 97.8 is considered a low core body temperature, and it indicates poor T3 activity. So you can check your body temperature to determine thyroid hormone function at the cellular level. And it's best to take your temperature orally by mouth, 
to determine your core body temperature. Under the arm is not accurate, especially in perimenopausal and menopausal women, as their skin temperature runs hot while their core is cool if they're hypothyroid. Use a mercury thermometer for the most accurate reading. If you're in your reproductive years, then your temperature changes throughout your menstrual cycle, so be sure to check it on the same day of the cycle every month. One of the benefits of taking Genesis Gold is that it helps T3 get into your cells, which will be reflected by a more normal body temperature, more energy, and a higher metabolism. Now you know the difference between hypo and hyperthyroidism, yet it's not easy to heal your thyroid without balancing the rest of your hormones too. So I created the Hormone Reboot Training for you to discover how to balance all of your hormones naturally and get the support you need to heal your thyroid problem. It's free. Just click the link in the description below this video. So what thyroid symptom are you suffering from? Leave your answer in the comment section below and make sure you sign up for my hormone reboot training. If this video was helpful, be sure to subscribe, share with your friends and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one.